Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains and uh, I welcome you all for the uh, new series, a uh, new tech series on Angular 12 and uh, so from this video it's like continuous series, uh, continuous videos of Angular. So we'll be learning uh, almost every concept of Angular. Okay, so it's a complete real time training and uh, so in this we'll be learning the Angular version 12. Uh, before we understand first let's see what is angular okay uh, so angular is nowadays is most popular okay when compared to react and uh, uh, vue.js and uh, when you talk about angular it is a typescript based a web application framework so it was uh, built on typescript okay so it is a rebuilt on angular.js so earlier it was uh, uh, angular.js uh, very old in the year uh, 2011 and that complete uh, AngularJS was on JavaScript and that was rebuilt on TypeScript. So they understand the uh, uh, importance of TypeScript and they reinvented uh, everything from scratch to the uh, with TypeScript language and that's called as Angular 2. And from then every version got changed and it's become Angular 12 now. Okay, so every six months uh, you'll be getting a new version by the Google. And the what is the best part? in the angular is it is to develop a single page application so what is mean by the single page applications is um, without refreshing your web page so your web page key will never refresh whatever activity you perform on the application okay so it means you create a an employee or you click on a button you hover something you uh, you you just click on some links whatever activity you perform in the web page uh, you never ever see a page refresh and even you navigate between the multiple pages but still you never see a page refresh so internally some ajax calls will happen okay so angular will automatically rebuild okay the entire dom structure okay so that's what actually a single page application and uh, so it yes it is developed by an angular team in google so it uses a component based development uh, we'll talk about component based development in the next slides uh, so initial release was 2016 and the current version today as of i am recording this video today it is 12.0.5 and june 2021 and this is the version we are going to learn today Okay, so this is very, 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 very popular uh, front-end framework to develop the web application. The most popular is two-way data binding and single-page application and that took component-based development. Okay, next move on to here. So to understand Angular, there is a Angular architecture. So you must understand what is Angular's architecture. So Angular built with, uh, the Angular application is built with uh, certain aspects for example there are a lot of concepts you have to learn uh, to make one angular application so the very first thing is component the whole ui can be divided into multiple pieces so each part of ui for example um on the website you have a card you have a nav bar you have a sidebar so each every small piece of ui is called as one component so that component represents the ui the user interface and for that user interface we need to hook up the services so what is this angular services this is like a data provider okay so this is like a data provider and any business logic you need uh, to project on the ui so this services will be used into picture and then we have directives so directives in the sense uh, the data which should display on the screen on the web page the ui so that data can be manipulated it means i want to uh, display the content depend on some condition or i want to loop through a certain uh, array or else uh, i want to make some two-way data binding so all these things will happen with directives and pipes so pipes in a sense it will format your data for example from the server you will receive some raw data so that raw data i can i can format it to a json data i can format it to uh, a currency data i can format it to a, a number data okay a date a proper date format like that so any, any raw data can be formatted using the pipes 
and modules. So modules is a broadest perspective in Angular application. It means, uh, for example, if you want to develop an e-commerce application, so in the e-commerce application, there are a lot of modules like uh, for login system comes under users module and products module and uh, we have uh, uh, orders module, okay, payment module, like multiple modules. The whole application, the whole website, okay, is can be divided into certain modules and each module contains a collection of components and services and directories and pipes. And the lastly, one guard. Uh, guard is sense. Uh, I think you might have seen for some websites. Uh, if you have not logged into the application, you see few links. And if you have logged into the system, you see few more links. And if you are an admin user, you can see few more links extra. So the links which are based on the role of a user. So to provide so uh, such type of links uh, based on a user's role. So we need the concept called God and we also have interceptors and few other concepts as well. And these are like key pillars to develop any angular application. So if you understand these things, so you can able to develop any proper angular application. So that's what about angular's architecture. Okay. So now we'll be looking into the single page application. So let's understand the single page application in the next video. Thank you so much and we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.